Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God in this Easter season. Today is Tuesday the 18th of April and we opened tonight's service with the great Easter hymn, Jesus Christ is Risen Today. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. Yesterday I was crucified with Christ. Today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I was dead with Christ. Today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with Christ. Today I am waking with him from the sleep of death. Our psalm this evening is number 66. All the, all the earth, earth shall, shall worship, worship you, O Lord. Lord. Be joyful in God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies shall bow before you. All the earth shall worship you, sing to you, sing praise to your name. Come now and behold the works of God. How wonderful he is in his dealings with humankind. He turned the sea into dry land, the river they passed through on foot. There we rejoiced in him. In his might he rules forever. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against him. Bless our God, O you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to slip. For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out into a place of liberty. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it, it was, was in, in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. All, All the earth shall worship you, O Lord. Lord. How generous is your goodness, O God! How great is your salvation! How faithful is your love! Help us to trust you in trial and praise you in deliverance. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We come now to tonight's reading. The book of Acts, chapter 26, verses 4 to 8. Paul said, All the Jews know my way of life from my youth, a life spent from the beginning among my own people and in Jerusalem. They have known for a long time, if they are willing to testify, that I have belonged to the strict sect of our religion and lived as a Pharisee. And now I stand here on trial on account of my hope in the promise made by God to our ancestors, a promise that our twelve tribes hope to attain as they earnestly worship day and night. It is for this hope, Your Excellency, that I am accused by Jews. Why is it thought incredible by any of you that God raises the dead? Thanks be to God. And now to our reflection this evening. In recent years, we have become more conscious of the different cultural identities in society and their influence on our own sense of being. The popular BBC family history programme, Who Do You Think You Are?, invites celebrities to explore their family roots, to discover the stories and experiences of previous generations and so to reflect on their own identity today. 
If Paul was invited onto the programme, he would be very happy to identify himself as a member of the Jewish people. He would, no doubt, also be appalled by the anti-Semitism of more recent centuries. His faith in Jesus did not remove his Jewish identity, but rather added to it. Now in front of King Agrippa, he reaches out to his people, speaking of a common identity, shared religion and God-given hope. Hope is the key word in this opening part of Paul's speech, and he focuses on the hope of the dead being raised by God to new life. This was a matter of debate and controversy in Judaism at the time, but the Pharisees certainly held such a hope. Paul sees this hope confirmed in the death and resurrection of Jesus, a reality that was wholly the work of God. That promises that promise of new life had taken on an astonishingly new and powerful, deeper reality through his experience of Jesus, the Messiah, crucified Saviour and risen Lord. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, All time belongs to him, and all ages to him be glory and power, through every age and for ever. Amen. And now we join together in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his peace. Alleluia. Amen. Amen.